Good morning guys! So for today I have a couple of ideas in my head that I want to accomplish and one of them is to solve the problem in the kitchen because since we have to stay home and we can't go to shop that much to the grocery store I had to expand all my dry goods in the pantry so I'm going to create some space for those and then I start to clean up. Cheers! So I really like those hooks, those are so useful. I can dry my brush there and I can put the kitchen towels there. So I'm not going to keep that in the kitchen, but maybe I'm going to move to the other side. And for the shelves, if you've been here for a while, I started out with these in my kitchen. I used to keep my jars on that. So this is a perfect size. And I figured out if I put two next to each other and lucky enough it fits between the stream and the wall. So I was thinking to put one up here, maybe one up there and one other there. Hey, maybe I can put this underneath the shaft. Ooh. Okay, I will figure it out. <laughs> got ready the space for Jord so he can put up the shelves and while he was doing that I started to prepare the breakfast and this is a super simple recipe I started with chopping up some apples You can use any kind of pancake mix that you like to use. I just had two eggs in there and a little bit of an almond flour and some tapioca starch and I mixed as much together to have this kind of a half liquidish texture so as it would make a pancake and I'm just going to pour it over on the chopped up apple pieces and I'm telling you guys this is so yummy super easy to make basically anything that I can bake in the oven this is my ultimate go to make breakfast because it doesn't require me to stay in the kitchen so you could fry this that would be very yummy as well but to me on the lazy days I just put it into the oven and it's going to be done and I can just slice it so that's the easiest way and the fastest way I also I was defrosting some fruit mix and I just used the juice from that to make a marble effect on it Once short was done with the shelves, I started to gather all those items that I was keeping in the office area. I had an empty cabinet and for now while we have this situation now where we cannot go to the store that often, I was gathering some um, pantry items there, some dried beans and, and things like that. So that's something I wanted to back in my kitchen and not this, I mean I have a space for that here but it was very inconvenient and I just love the fact that I get to see what I have so I can get more creative while I create recipes. However, if you store pantry items on the daylight, you have to know the fact that it can lose from the 
nutrition and from the color so I'm going to put things there that we quickly eat or use but nothing like spice or tea those are going to stay in my drawer when it's dark and meanwhile I had so this is the mix that I used in the apple pie as well so now with the leftover I am going to make some popsicle for the kids it's super easy very fast and they love it for further storage I love these bags I ordered them on Amazon about a year ago or so and I just ordered again um, another package because they're just so useful I can put a lot of things in there and if you've been here for a while you know we live in a small house so that's an additional tricky storage for me that visually doesn't clutter up my home and especially like this type of things like this mold for the popsicle they such a loosey item I can gather them in this bag now for the fun part this is my favorite part to do I have some dried flowers I ordered this from Amazon as well it was a year ago so this is just the leftover I have so I have to order them again and these little crumbs that I have left from this dried flowers I'm going to use for further decoration and um, soap making so this is what's going to come more I'm going to make a bunch of soaps and today I'm going to share one soap project with you with the leftover juice I am going to make a drink it's super easy I just put some chia seed in there and some mint leaf and it tasted delicious Okay, now that we had a breakfast, now I can spend more time on the shelf to finish up the final touches. And to cover those screws, I am going to use this art tape. I have this when I paint, I fix the side of the paper with that, but you know what guys, that has a multiple purpose. I can, I can actually just rip it with my hand, so that's a big, uh, so that's one good side but the other I can write on it so when we take lunch somewhere I can just put a writing on it and just place it on something on a jar and it's very easy to take it off so this is what I'm going to use over the black screws A very quick reset after the breakfast to maintain my kitchen sink so that will help me further on the day so once I stay on top of the dishes in the morning all the rest of the day is gonna be easier on me My back is feeling so much better if you haven't seen my vlog I mentioned in my last vlog what happened with my back so this time Jot is going to put on the sheet
I like to do a quick reset in the bathroom as well and it's uh, sometimes I do at night too but in the morning it's a definite thing because the four of us brushing our teeth there and we're just getting ready for the day so there's things that needs to be tidy up there <laughs> Those little Lego pieces are soaps that I made and I will share with you how I made it and what I used on the end of this video. This is a charcoal infused fiber and I love this. I have a very similar one in the kitchen. Actually it's the same but it's a different color. And I just love to use this because it's super soft. It absorbs the water so well. It makes my job so much faster and easier. And it doesn't smell. Something with the charcoal it helps with that. Max needed my help with a learning a little bit and since it was rainy we just cozied up in the soft bed. You know guys how much I love those brushes that I have so I ordered them a year ago so it was time to order a new ones and it's an all natural one so I wanted to tell you guys it's always um, it's a non-consistent piece it's not like a plastic one they can produce the exact same so you can see the difference between my same product Last year I experienced the same thing. I had a brush that was more full and I had one that was less full. So I just received the same combo again, which is fine. So I'm just going to add some yarn to the end so that way I can hang it and it can dry easier. Now that we're getting a nicer weather, even though sometimes we still have some rain, I'm not going to wear that shoes because it's a winter shoes and I'm proud to say that this is probably the fifth uh, winter for the shoes and that's the only shoes I have for winter so it's been working so well so if I can find the same one I will purchase the same because it's just very durable, very comfortable, I really like the look so if I can find the same I will buy the same again and yeah so but it's it's definitely on the lost leg I have to say so I definitely have to find a new one for the next season. For next I wanted to tackle that area where my kids getting ready in their room and this is the to-go basket we just threw everything in there that they grabbed so looks like they're not going to have a class anytime soon so I just took out all of those clothes and I'm just putting all the summer items in there like swimming pants and sunglasses and just the things that we use seasonally and we just want to grab in a hurry My kids do a pretty good job to clean their room but you know what, as a mom once in a while I just have to go and fix those corners, you know, those forget them ones. <laughs> Ok 
okay so these are the colorings that i've got these are all natural yet still contains some stuff that i would never give them to eat however um, it's made with vegetables so they can use this in the soap but it's a good stuff for craft and this is the soap it's shea butter soap so this is how it came in the box and it was very simple to cut out i just made a little piece to try it out because obviously i have a lot of plan what to do i want to put some dried flowers in i want to come up with some other essential oil blends that i can put in there but this is the base and i got this from amazon i will put this for you guys into my amazon sh shop soon as i received this soap i had to try it so i just did a little batch and i used this coloring it's a food coloring in there and it was matting very easily but this powder wasn't really blending so well so maybe a liquid one do better but when i ordered i, I didn't pay attention to it it was a powder form but anyway it ended up actually with a nice effect i really like this little piece of chunk of bluish things in there and max really enjoy that so hopefully that will encourage him to wash his hands more often if you enjoy videos like that i have a playlist that you can click on and keep continue watching otherwise i will see you guys soon and the bloopers are coming up now bye Right on the floor and on my pants. <laughs>